Good morning, Year 5, and welcome to Day 29 of your home learning. This is our last day for Booklet 6, so make sure you have it ready. Let's begin with our morning prayer, hands together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, you love me. You are with me night and day. I want to love you always, in all I do and say. I'll try to please you, Father. Bless me through the day. Amen. Saint Scholastica, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All the resources you need to support your home learning are on the school website on our class page. Please make sure before you begin your work, you go to the website, watch the videos and access all the information. This week's Focus 4 exercise is a 10 minute shake up with Disney. Please click on the PE icon and it will take you directly to today's video. This is your topic for maths this week and please ensure you follow the instructions on screen when completing your maths activity. Today we are looking at area of irregular shapes. As you can see, you've got irregular shapes here and because you're estimating, your answer is not going to be exact. So just give it a go. And when you go on to question 3A, you'll be drawing around your hand and estimating the area. Remember, the area is the space within the shape and because you're looking at squared paper here it's going to be easier for you to estimate the area moving on to question 3b you are going to draw around your hand again but this time you're going to have it wide and open so make sure when you are estimating the area of this hand you compare it to the previous hand that you drew so have you noticed anything um, is one area bigger than the other and why do you think this? When completing your writing today, make sure to use capital letters in the correct spaces, make sure you're using a range of punctuation and also read your work again and again to ensure that it makes sense. As you know, it is really important to plan your writing and it's also really important to have a good read through your plan to make sure that it makes sense. Why not read it aloud to someone? See if they have any suggestions for how you can improve it. Then try saying out loud exactly what you were going to write. So now it's time to write about your report and your chosen elf or sprite for the ultimate guide. To help you with your writing, there are lots of things to help you. The text about cave elves and the one about forest sprites, the boxed up plan and structure and toolkit, your ideas page, the vocabulary magpied from the model, and most importantly, your plan. So draft your ideas onto one piece of paper and then edit it. Make sure that when you read the text aloud, it flows. And if you find a sentence hard to read aloud, then so will your reader. Check that you haven't modeled up the information and does it sound like one of the texts you have read before? Read it through again to check spelling and punctuation and then write your final draft. I can't wait to hear all about your chosen type of elf or sprite. To find out what you are reading this week, go onto the school website and click on the reading book icon. It will tell you what pages you need to read. After that, click on the reading questions icon and then answer the questions. Today you are reading page 32 and your strategy is summarising. Make sure that you use the stems below, then move on and answer the questions and of course, complete the challenge. Here are your times tables for today. If you are finding these easy, try and do the division for these times tables as well. For your grammar topic today, you are going to be looking at using a colon to introduce a list or add further detail. Here is your comprehension for today. And remember, whenever you complete a comprehension, make sure you use the code CLEAR. For your art lesson, go to the school website and click on the art icon and it will bring you directly to today's lesson. Then you can have a go at drawing this picture below. Lastly, you are going on a virtual trip. Go to the school website and click on the virtual trip icon and it will bring you directly to this video. Have fun! 
We will be premiering the show on Sunday the 13th of February so you and your family can enjoy watching it over the half term. I really, really hope you have an amazing half term. I know you've worked so hard at home, so well done to all of you. I will be putting work on Education City for you to complete over the half term. Take care, everyone, and have a fantastic week.